हे गाइस दिस इज ऋषिकेश कौल एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एस फोर हाना वीडियो सो द टॉपिक फॉर दिस वीडियो इज हाउ टू क्रिएट अ परचेस रिक्विजिशन इन एस फोर हाना सिस्टम सो नाउ लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेम लाइक परचेस रिक्विजिशन वी हैव ट्रांजेक्शन एम ई फिफ्टी वन एन दिस इज फॉर द क्रिएशन ऑफ परचेस रिक्विजिशन ओके so another transaction is एम ई स्लैश एन इज टू लाइक क्लोज द स्क्रीन एंड ओपन अ न्यू वन एम ई फिफ्टी टू एन दिस इज फॉर द चेंज सो यू कैन कम एंड चेंज अ रिक्विजिशन ईयर वॉट एवर रिक्विजिशन यू हैव वॉन्ट टू एंटर यू कैन जस्ट एंटर इट फ्रॉम हियर एंड द थर्ड ट्रांजेक्शन इज स्लैश एन एम ई फिफ्टी थ्री एन सो दिस इज फॉर यू कैन जस्ट कम हियर and uh, this is a display mode okay so you can just uh, check out what are the fields uh, and what is the uh, fields uh, with okay what is entered in the field and now we'll go to me 51n so here we'll create a purchase requisition first thing you have uh, these four things in a purchase requisition the first is the document type the second is the header the item overview and item okay we'll check out one by one so for the first we'll go to uh, document type so we'll say we have multiple this can be created like you can create it by yourself what is the use for uh, the document type is like uh, you can bifurcate your purchase requisitions as per your need and you can have different number ranges for your uh, purchase requisitions uh, second thing and third thing is you can define a different layout like uh, what your fields you want and you don't want you can hide the fields you can make mandatory you can uh, make fields optional okay these this is the use of the document type the next thing is the header okay so in purchase requisition header note is one uh, option which is given for us we can mention anything here okay like we want to know the purchase uh, purchaser which is going to create a purchase order we want to know uh, we want to tell him like he has to take only the lg like laptop okay so you, you can mention it here okay sorry it is lg so you can just mention it here so that anything any note so that he can understand what is your actual requirement okay so this is this was the header the second thing the important part here is the item overview okay this one so we have to enter a material okay how to enter or select a material you can just click on here okay so you have this many options to choose a material so what thing you know about the material is the most important thing so you know the material number so you can just directly enter in that field or you can enter it over here like material you know the description you can enter it over here you have some old material which is uh, mentioned in your material master so you can select this and enter the old material number okay so these you have many options you can explore like all options it is as per requirement so here we can enter the description or material number like what we were referring to i'll just enter a material number which i have which we are going to use so this is like something and i'll just uh, enter a star where is the star okay so star is used like you have this as your initial number and anything after this you will be checking out here start star search okay so you can see 65000 and after that you have some numbers okay so what we are going to select is 6500033 okay this number i'll just hit on enter like double click and we'll get this so you can just go by this way enter one field and 
uh, hit on enter okay so you will get an error like error is enter plan so you have to enter a plan so you can select again from here whatever is your plan I'll, I'll be just entering here SF01 okay so you will get the most of the details from the plant and the material itself like material description unit uh, then delivery date what you have entered in the material you just give a, a span like what is the span to uh, it will take for the delivery of that material so you are entering 10 days so system will consider the dates from the creation like today you are creating a purchase requisition system will create the uh, take a date after 10 days okay so now we have an error uh, enter quantity so we'll be entering the quantity okay so now we don't have any error so this is can delivery date be met this is a warning which comes in orange color or yellow color and okay you can just click on status and you can see what is the warning okay the system is asking is this date valid like are you really going to get the material in this on this date so it is yes so we can neglect it so now we'll go to the item part okay we'll keep both the parts open now this item is like you have multiple uh, materials entered like you are entering one more or five more materials here you will get this drop down one two three four okay after that this is material data so what everything related to material some material so this is the material number which you have entered here and it's short description okay the material group which is already mentioned in your material master the supplier material is something like uh, what he is defining your this material as okay so he must be having something different material in his number in his system like we have six five zero 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 three three he must be having something uh, five six two one zero 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 three so that you can mention it here over here okay see you can get a description material number used by your vendor okay so after that we'll go to quantity and dates okay so quantity what quantity you are ordering is this what uh, like quantity ordered if a purchase requisition is created suppose for six uh, quantity so you will get here quantity ordered as six okay and open quantity you will get in the same case like four this open quantity is for your purchase requisition how much is remaining to be created as a purchase order you will be able to see here now suppose in case uh, sometime it happens that you have created a purchase requisition but you want you don't want to continue with this so you can just come here uh, and click on closed so this is particular to mate uh, line item so 10 line item so you if you hit on here and say save so you are this line item the purchaser like who is create who is going to create a purchase order is not going to see the line item 10 okay so this is not a valid line item from the moment you create uh, click here and save okay now you have the delivery date on what date you are going to receive this model same as this one so this is the request date when you are creating this purchase requisition this is the release date like when your purchase requisition is released this is the pl delivery time which is like uh, plan delivery time i'll just hit on f1 here you can see plan delivery time in days what time what date or how many days you will need uh, to uh, vendor will need to deliver this material to your premises so one more we have is gr processing time when you receive the material after that in case sometime happens that you need one or two days to like make a quality check okay or uh, verify inspect the material 
so material so that is the time you have to mention it over here so that when the purchase plan order like which is for your production which is created they can uh, calculate the time with reference to this days what you are mentioning here after that we have the valuation in valuation this is the price you will get from your material master which is uh, the like moving or standard when you are purchasing from outside it is usually a moving average price so you will get it for here and here it is PO, per, PO price so do you want to carry this price to your purchase order so here we have option do not apply means it will not go to your purchase order or as a gross price or a net price so this will be considered on your selection here uh, for the per uh, for the purchase order how it will be considered this price so usually we take it as do not apply because the purchaser knows the actual price which uh, the vendor is asking for okay after that we have this three options goods receipt so are we going to receive uh, make a goods receipt or make a mego transaction for this material or this line item so yes so next is, next thing is are we going to make a invoice receipt yes uh, is it a non valuated gr so in some cases we receive samples from our vendor so in that case we are uh, going to make a non valuated gr because we are not paying him okay that is the reason so in that case we'll be not making an invoice okay so these this is for this screen so source of supply so you have any contract which is created in our system we just have to browse it and select from here okay for that particular vendor if it is created fixed vendor you have a fixed vendor you are it is confirmed that you are going to buy from this vendor so you have to select that vendor here info record you have an info record which uh, will have a brief video for an info record so we have we are just making all the entries all the records for your vendor and for a particular material in info record so we'll be having a like brief video on that so desired supply i am a requisitioner like i am creating a purchase requisition i want to know the purchase purchaser who, who is going to create a purchase order that okay i am suggesting you that you should buy this from this vendor buy this material from so he can change it at at any moment there but this is a suggestion what you are giving him okay this is supplier material number uh, whatever supplier has defined or has the material number for the same what we are having in our system you can enter it over here now we have a status what is status like when uh, like we'll go here okay so this is how your like what is the status for your purchase requisition it is not edited means no changes are made after the creation po is created for this item and purchase requisition is a po created if it is created you will be like when you will come into display you will be able to see the second b option here then if a purchase reference uh, like uh, request for quotation is created using this requisition and this item so you will be able to see this contact con contract created you will be able to see this so these are many options what you will be able to see how the purchase requisition is treated after or what is the status for purchase requisition after the creation so block if uh, like i don't i have created this but i don't want the purchase order creator to consider this i can just select block by requisition and save it so he will not be able to create the purchase order referring this purchase requisition and this item okay so anything blocking reason what do you have you can enter it over here so we'll go, go to the next tab which is uh, contact person so here uh, the data will everything will get from your system details like 
your user id then how it is created it's a real time like i'm creating it manually so yeah there are many options when you go and display you can see it like convert and from plant order plant order which is from the uh, plant order you can create directly a purchase requisition that is and you have many other options so requisitioner he can enter his name here the purchase group these both things you will get from the material master okay change on if any changes are done the change on date will be updated so now we have item text anything specific related to this item you can mention it here you have multiple texts item text item note item delivery text material po text so this use you can decide define it as per your requirement and you can mention any text regarding this material item number 10 here okay and delivery address delivery address you can the, this comes from the plant itself uh, so you don't need to make any changes okay and uh, that's it if you want to send the material direct to your subcontractor so you can just uh, select here sc supply and create your vendor number which you want to send this material directly to or to a material uh, if you want to send this material direct to your customer you can also mention that customer id here okay so this is a brief for a, uh, creation of purchase requisition any doubt regarding the purchase requisition you can just comment into the comments i'll just respond on that okay uh, so anything regarding the personal training you want the industrial training uh, you want or uh, you want to train your uh, end users you can just connect with me and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel to get many more s4hana videos uh, thank you